I build an AI agent that scrapes and analyzes all customer reviews from Google Maps, Instagram, and TikTok in under 20 minutes using three prompts inside Lovable. And the best part, a business already paid me $2,000 for it. So let me show you exactly how I did it. So we are going to create an AI agent that has access to the Google Maps reviews, the comments on an Instagram page, and the comments on a TikTok page. And based on this can help the business with better service, more insights on what the problems are, and also obviously see what is going well. So we are going to do this for a random bar in Amsterdam. So we have the seafood bar, they have a TikTok page, they have a Google Maps page with a lot of reviews right here, and they have an Instagram page. So we'll put together all this data and make a platform where they can log in and see how everything is going. Okay, so next step, how we are going to start is we are going to get the prompt from the prompt library right here. We can copy this and this will basically explain everything that we are going to make. So we have a business setup, so they need to give their business name, their Google Maps business URL, their Instagram profile username and their TikTok profile username. We then have a scraping dashboard. We have a unified review feed. So we will just see everything that is coming in in one unified interface. We then have a priority queue tab. We have AI insights dashboard and a Q and A chat. So we can also chat with all of the reviews to see what we can make better about our business or what the main problems are. Perfect, okay. We have a database schema right here that is explaining everything that we're gonna do. As you can see here, we have the integrations so we are using Google Maps Review Scraper, the Instagram Comment Scraper, and the TikTok Comment Scraper. And all of this is inside API file. So it's basically one integration, but with multiple sources. We then obviously use Superbase for this, and we have some edge functions. So scrape all platforms, but we also do scrape Google Maps, scrape Instagram, and scrape TikTok. And we also analyze the reviews that come in. We can then also chat with the reviews and generate a report. So this is everything that we now need to create the first version of our app. Let's copy this right here and go to Lovable. Right here, we can just copy paste it and run it and then see what the first version is gonna be like. And in the meantime, I will now go to API file to get our API key and also show you a bit about the actors that we are going to use. If you are enjoying this video and learning anything from it, I would really, really appreciate a like and a subscribe. By following me, you will make sure that you know exactly what to do to make the best possible AI apps. We'll go to API Fi and you can create an account and you pay per review that you fetch. We have the Google Maps scraper right here. And if we click on it, we have all the information that we need right here. And you will see all these different options right here. So you can just have a search term. So for example, a restaurant in Zandam that's very close to Amsterdam. You can do something with search filters, but you can also right here, scrape with Google Maps URLs or place IDs. So you have all the freedom right here to choose which option fits your use case. And if you go to information, you'll see everything that you need to know. Per source, we need to go back to this page, copy and paste some information so Lovable understands how to make every integration work. So it is already working on the databases. It enabled cloud, perfect. Let's not just patiently wait for the first version to be completed and then we can iterate from there. Okay, perfect. So it is called Review IQ and we can directly create an account. Okay, perfect. So we got our dashboard and to be honest, it is looking pretty good already. We can have our business name, our Google Maps URL, our Instagram username and our TikTok username right here. So I think we should just set it up already and see how far we can come with our first prompt and based on what we will now see, iterate from there. So we have the seafood bar. We then need our Google Maps URL. And right here, we have the seafood bar. And if we now click on share, we can copy this one and we'll paste it right here, okay? We then have our Instagram username. So when we go to Instagram, we will have it right here. We copy that one, we paste it. And then for TikTok, the exact same, like this, okay? We'll then save our business profile. And this is already looking very good. It's going pretty smooth. If I now go to settings, we can edit it and everything is saved correctly. We have our dashboard right here with total reviews, urgent, positive, negative. We can click on refresh reviews and I think then the whole process will start. We have our priority queue, we have our insights. I already like this a lot. We can already ask questions about the reviews. So I think what we will now just have to do is click on refresh reviews and see how far we come already. So we click it. 
and nothing is happening. Okay, let's now go to cloud, go to edge functions, and right here, we only have one function. We don't have the fetch reviews function yet. So obviously when we put in a very large prompt, it is not catching up on everything that we ask. And it is now up to us to see what we need to change. And if you follow this along, you might have some other problems that you run into. But I think the debugging of this is very simple if you understand where to look. So we will now use the voice mode right here and say the following. Hey, so I'm currently looking at my hash functions and I see that we only have one analyze review function. We don't fetch the reviews yet. And obviously we want to fetch the reviews. So when we click on our refresh reviews, we want to call our API by actors to actually get all the reviews. And after that, we want to analyze the ones that we got. Let's currently limit to between three and five reviews or comments per source. Now we're talking about Google Maps, Instagram, and TikTok. And just for now, analyze them directly. So I will now provide you the documentation on all the actors. And please follow along one-on-one -on -one with the syntax that you see. So I will put all the documentation that you need to copy paste in here in the build to black library for now i will explain you how to make it yourself so if you're making a project that is a bit different you still understand how to make this so we go to api fi and we have all this text right here the most important thing is that we have the output and the input so the input is right here and we'll just use a url as input but for now let's copy input and let's copy output let's copy this let's go to love wall and say maps usage maps We'll then go to API, you go to API clients, and you then copy paste this one into Lovable. And this is basically the code on how to use this actor. Then we have everything for maps, we'll go on with Instagram. So this is basically the exact same workflow. So in short, we go to our actor, the Instagram scraper, we go to information, we go to input and output right here. We copy this, we paste this, and then also get a usage example. So API, API clients, copy this one, Instagram usage, we paste it and TikTok is the exact same. So we go to our actors, we go to TikTok comment scraper. As you can see right here, we need to have the comments from TikTok profile. So when we now go to information, let's copy this one with the output and go right here paste this tiktok usage we go to api to api clients and as you can see here we currently have a post urls but we obviously want to scrape a profile instead so what we'll do is we'll copy this we'll paste it but then we go back to our tiktok scraper and while we go to input we can see that we have two different options right here so we can open this one and we can add a username so for now let's get this username we paste it right here and if we then click on json as you can see right here we are scraping profiles and that's obviously what we want so instead of our current one where we get a specific post we'll replace it with our input right here and as i said i will put everything in the build loop prompt library so you don't need to do all this manual work but now you understand how to actually do this so let's run it now and see if it is all going correctly. Okay, so it has finished. The only thing that we needed to do is add our secret. So how you do that is you go to API fi and right here, you need to click on copy to clipboard. You go back and you paste it. And that is everything. You now added your API key to our Lovable app. And yeah, we can now just start testing it out by clicking refresh reviews. This is always one of my favorite moments in building an app like this. I really have no clue how it is gonna work, if it is going to work, and what we need to work on. And I think that is exactly where the fun is in building apps like this. So let's click it. Okay, so we now have no clue what is happening. So you got two ways to check what is happening. We can either go to cloud, we can go to edge functions, you will see all the functions right here, and we are calling the scrape all platforms. So we can go to few logs, and right now you will see that we are scraping Google Maps. So now we want to understand if we are correctly scraping Google Maps. So we can go back to our API fi, you can go to runs, and right here you will see that we correctly scraped Google Maps. So let's click on it, and we can actually see the overview. So we have all the information about this. We have the website, we have the name of the restaurant, we even got the phone number. But what is very important right here that we need to click on reviews, and as you can see here, we have all the reviews right here. So for example, the bread wasn't fresh. So this is already very, very useful. 
we can also go to runs again and see that the Instagram scraper was also going correctly. We have the output right here. And as you can see, we have the comments count and there are zero comments on this post, zero on this one, but here we have a comment. And as you can see here, we have the comment right here. So DM and no response. This is clearly a negative comment. We can go back to runs and see that the TikTok is getting a lot of results. Also, it is going a bit harder in pricing, but let's see right here. We can click on the run and we can already see what the output is going to be like. This means I don't really like the taste. So we have all these comments right here and they will be loaded in in our app. Let's see, it has succeeded. We can now go back to our app, refresh the logs and all scraping complete. Total new reviews, 13. Okay, let's go back to close. Let's refresh this and this has already worked. This is already really cool. This is way better than I expected. We have a negative response right here. We have a neutral one. We have a negative one. We have a positive one. And right here, you will see all the reviews. We have the ones that are urgent, the ones that are positive and the ones that are negative. We can also very simply filter on sentiment so we can only see the positive ones. This is all pretty good. We can see the neutral ones. We can see the negative ones. And these are obviously the ones that we want to look at. So I don't really like it. DM and no response. And we also see the platform where it's coming from. So we have TikTok right here. We have Instagram. We have Google Maps. I have no clue what this means. We have our priority queue. Perfect. So we see here mentions, serious issues, complaints, and dissatisfaction. So this is really amazing. We get insights as well. So we have a 54% sentiment score which is actually not that good. We have some urgent reviews and we have some that are handled. So this is already a product that I think a lot of businesses really need. Let's actually test out our AI chat and say, what is something we should improve based on our negative reviews? Okay, AI chat functionality coming soon. Let's now implement this one because all of our data is already looking very good. Let's go to our AI chat and implement this one. So everything is looking perfect. The only thing that is not working yet is our AI chat. I think we should really fix this. It should be able to intelligently get the data that the user is talking about. So questions like, based on our negative reviews, how can we improve our service? What do customers love about us? It should really get the correct data in an intelligent way by filtering on sentiment, for example, and then getting all those reviews in a descending order based on date. Really make this a highly intelligent AI agent. So really make this an experience that people won't forget. Perfect, let's now actually run it and uh, see what it comes up with. So to be honest, I am really shocked by the result. As you can see here, two prompts, and we already got this product that people can actually use. It's insane. And like for real, you can add a paywall behind this, maybe $20, $30 per month for multiple clients. You will add an emailing service. So if something urgent comes up, we will email them straight away. And we can obviously also make integrations to the platform to make sure that we can respond to the comments and reviews as well. Okay, perfect. So it has loaded already. Let's just test it out. So we can click on what should we improve about our service. Let's run it. Okay, so this is a very good example of how you should fine tune an AI agent. Right now it is not giving an answer. And the thing about this AI chat is that we want an answer directly. So we'll just copy this and say the following. So the current flow about the AI agent is I think not working so well. We ask what should we improve about our service and it is coming up with an answer that is not really teaching us anything. It should understand where to look, what the user wants to know and then provide an answer based on all the data that we have about a business. So we get the reviews, we get the comments and based on that come up with suggestions. For example, what should we improve about our service? It should then give answer to that question. And I will provide the conversation that I just got so you understand what to improve. Like this, we paste it and then we test it again. And this is also when you're making an AI, it is all about testing it and fine tuning based on that. Anyone can now create an AI application, but making it of high quality with good answers is up to you. Okay, perfect. Let's try it out once again. So we'll copy this one. We paste it and we run it. Okay, perfect. So we got this answer and this is already looking way better. So based on recent negative feedback, here are the key areas that you should focus on improving. So the food quality, this is the most pressing issue with multiple customers expressing significant dissatisfaction. So their lobster soup is disgusting. The bread wasn't fresh and quite hard to chew. So we have some actionable insights. Also customer service and responsiveness. So an Instagram user commented DM and no response indicating a lack of responsiveness on social media. This is already looking very good. 
And I think by now you understand the value behind this and we can obviously fine tune this way further, make sure that things like this are actually shown in bold text, but that is not the point behind this video. We only took three or four prompts to build this already. And from here you can improve anything that you want. Thanks for watching the complete video. I hope you enjoyed it and obviously learned something from it. If that's the case, I would really appreciate a like and a subscribe. It really helps me to grow my channel and I will make sure that you will know everything you need to know to make the best possible AI apps. So I will see you in my next video.